This is my college football team tier list heading into week four. Tier one, these are your national championship contenders. These are what I call the big dogs. Georgia, Texas, Ohio State, no questions here. All three have looked like the most three dominant teams in all of college football. Tier two, these are the ascenders, the challengers, teams that are on the rise, clicking on all cylinders, got some new pieces and look to be poised to challenge some of the big dogs. Alabama, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Miami, and Oregon. Oregon looked good against Oregon State in a statement win. I like these five teams. If the playoff were today, these eight teams would make the playoff. Tier three, I like to call this tier show me more. All these teams have great talent. We've seen them at their best, but they've had some hiccups along the ways, or there's still some question marks that I wanna see against a quality opponent that we have not seen yet. Some of these teams though, in the next coming weeks can move up to tier two. Missouri, USC, Penn State, Utah, Kansas State, and Oklahoma State. Obviously Utah and Oklahoma State play each other. I wanna see who comes out on the Big 12. The Big 12 is such an interesting conference. I don't know if this year the Big 12 can move up to the second tier but I'll put him in this tier. Missouri, a hiccup against Boston College, who's a quality team. Missouri's got such an easy schedule where they could probably run the table and make the college football playoff, but I'm going to put him at tier three. And then for these two, both have new coordinators. The defense of USC is going to be challenged against Michigan's running game. Penn State looked great on offense in week one against West Virginia, but what the hell happened against Bowling Green? But if I had to pick two teams to move up to tier two, I think Penn State and USC are definitely two of those that can move up after these coming week now tier four these are your inconsistent teams but could be anyone on any given day Notre Dame, LSU, and Oklahoma. Notre Dame, obviously the big loss against Northern Illinois. I don't want to talk about it, but you got to admit, still, they have one of the best defenses on all college football that they can rely on as a foundation moving forward. LSU, what a comeback against South Carolina. They're so inconsistent on both sides of the football, but they've got the talent. It's an SEC talented program with Brian Kelly. You got to put them in the mix, and they're going to be a tough out if it's a home game. Home game, Notre Dame, home game, LSU going to be a tough out. And then for Oklahoma, dealing with a lot of injuries offensively right now can Jackson Arnold push the ball down the field we'll see against Tennessee I got them in tier four because they just haven't looked impressive and then tier five these are the kind of teams that you want to keep an eye on that I'm not really so sold on completely yet but I'm not going to throw them away like I am Florida State I still got a lot of hope in some of these teams Clemson despite a tough loss against Georgia they look to be getting things clicking in a weak ACC conference Nebraska I get it's a big win against Colorado but I want to see more with Dylan Rayola on the road in hostile environments and pressure situations. Michigan, don't like the quarterback room, but the running game they can rely on if their offensive line can get better. The stacked defense that they have is going to keep them in games. It's going to be interesting to see how they compete against USC this week. Louisville's looked impressive. They're undefeated as well as Syracuse. AM, Marceau Reed, Connor Weigman is going to be an interesting quarterback battle. Iowa State, big win on the road. Illinois, they can go into Nebraska. It'll be interesting to see how the viewpoint of Illinois is. Boston College, I still have faith in. And then I got all the group of five teams that are in contention. The Northern Illinois, the Washington States. I mean, even though they're not a group of five in the Pac-12, they're undefeated. I got to include them in there. Memphis, Boise State, and UNV all in my group of five contenders list, as well as the tier five list in this tier list. So that's my official college football tier list. Take one more look at it. If you disagree with anything or if you agree with anything, be sure to comment below. More college football content coming soon. Appreciate all the love and support. Scott is good. Keep God first in your life. He'll pave the way.